Hello, this is Paula, and this is another um, set of candles that I got from the last semi-annual sale. Um, I did get five because um, when I would purchase more from the regular line, um, I would go for the ultimate value, and that was usually five for whatever price. Sometimes it was 55, um, and then toward the end of the sale, they started having um, a coupon or I think they had a 10% off your total price at one point and then later they had 20% off through an email coupon so if you're not on the email list you might want to get on that um, and I'm only showing four here of the large jars um, because I got two of that blue summer sky so no reason to show the other one um, okay so on the left I've got the um, white chocolate apple which smells really strong and amazing um then blue summer sky and like i said i got two of those and this particular one i don't know if you can see that there's some really dark looking pockets there which make me think it's going to be a great um candle with the oils and um, that's what i'm going for the most and then I've got pumpkin ginger bark, same kind of thing, perhaps. It's hard to tell sometimes if it's the dyes that are just not mixed around or if it's the oils um, and how that even works. It's hard to know for sure, but it smells pretty strong and I've never um, burned this before. I've got a lavender vanilla in the smoother vegetable blend wax. It's a two wick tumbler and I don't normally get those because I haven't had a lot of luck, but I also haven't tried them a lot to know 100% for sure. But I think it was the last one in that store that was the lavender vanilla. And then finally, I have a small tumbler, it's a one wick of the caramel apple cake, and that's within one of the newer, smaller labels that will be replacing all of the old labels, which Granted, now that's a smaller candle, but you can kind of really see the difference. Um, it's a <laughs> it's a huge difference, and I'm a little interested to see how that goes for Yankee. Um, it's, to, in my opinion, a huge decision to change up the labels to this degree when people have been um, happily buying for so many years with the nice, uh, full, and picturesque type labels anyway um i am excited about this set of candles i also got a few smaller items off the 75% uh, off table so let me show you some of these and these are the tarts um i got summer scoop i got um pumpkin buttercream i got November rain. Bear with me. Uh, this is berry licious. Margarita time. Can't wait to try that. Some people really love it. I've never thought to really try it, so I'm going to give it a shot. Uh, one of my brand new favorites if it will smell enough to smell it um, put off enough throw dreamy summer nights beautiful label uh, bear with me <laughs> chocolate layer cake pumpkin ginger bark which got my attention this sale because it's smelling really good I don't didn't pay it much attention before. Peach cobbler, uh, lavender vanilla, and then three samplers. So the first one, cinnamon vanilla, snowflake cookie, and the, this has shown up in a lot of my hauls uh, chocolate layer cake because it smells so strong it's a worthy little uh, candle to buy 
um, it puts off a lot of scent. So that is my haul. And I would say this is probably midway through the sale. Now, real quick for me, um, I this is a lot of candles for me, not just this haul. I'm referring to the wholesale of this summer of 2016. I've been saving up money. Um, I do burn a lot of Yankee candles. It's my main brand to burn, uh, or it has been anyway. Um, so I'm always on the lookout for new fragrances to try. And um, with the news of the label change, I'm struggling uh, to accept it because it sounds so silly because I don't really purchase just for the labels, but the labels really give off a neat feel when you're buying the candle. It's like part, part of the overall experience, I think. And so I'm going to really miss the old labels and I can't, I honestly can't picture it. So we'll have to see how that goes. To me, um, since I've been talking about that a little more in this video than I had been, let me go ahead and throw out why. The look of this new label, um, in my opinion, it reminds me of the candles that I might find like at the other stores that are not Yankee, like Kohl's or what some people refer to as the writing jars from the, um, the discount stores like TJ Maxx and Home Goods and Marshalls, those kinds of stores. Um, and my luck with those has not been very good or, and not consistent. Even the outlets will have some different ones. So to me, it really cheapens the look overall and it makes me feel less confident in parting with money for candles. I know that that's not for certainly not a desired intention, um, but to me, like, look at this and then like, look at this with like the vanilla orchid and the lavender blossoms or, do you see what I'm saying? I feel like I'm getting a real deal, whether or not I am, uh, may not be, but I feel like it's Yankee putting its best foot forward. So when it's changing all of the labels over to this one, I mean, even compared to like this little label right here, this is a sampler. Um, that one's got a little ripple in it, but that's just a little thing. And I just, I'm just thinking this is not um, what Yankee is about. So I understand it's probably like some grand experiment to see how that goes. But so far, I'm just really disappointed in it. Um, I guess people can take off the labels and all I'm thinking is uh, as someone who's purchased a lot of stickers in the past this might sound really weird to say this but I've been a scrapbooker for several years and a card maker making homemade cards um, on occasion and different things um, which sometimes can use stickers so if you've ever purchased stickers which are different from a label but just bear with me here for a minute you know that the cost of a sticker goes up with the size and whatnot. And I'm thinking that someone just did some calculations and is saving a lot of money over the course of say a month and then over a year. And if they're just pouring back those profits right back into the candle, that's one thing. And I understand all companies need to make a profit, but I just feel like it's a big gamble because um, there perhaps is a lot to lose. So I guess we'll have to see. Oh, and one more thing. Look at the font, and Simple Hope touched on this, that font versus like this font. I was on the website the day before the sale ended, and then the day after it went back to that font. Not back to, it moved over to this font for the first time. If you go over to Yankee Candle um, in the UK, um, their website I believe still has the old font. And so you ought to compare those just because it, it sounds like, again, a goofy little thing, but it's, I like the old font. It's classic, it's classy, and I just am not, on, I don't get it. So I think that they're banking on that everyone will come to love it over time. We'll have to see. It's hard to know if it's just that people dislike change initially at first, but then are quickly, uh, you know, able to come on board. But to me, as far as the cheaper discount candles that are from Yankee, to me, the labels from before separated those out. And to me, it kind of feels like the whole company has gone over 
to the cheaper label, which kind of concerns me. So anyway, there's my thoughts. Sorry for the very long ramble. Um, and that's my review. I've got some more and some, not review, it's a haul rather. I hope I've not been saying that the whole time. Um, but I've got more reviews and hauls coming up and even a possible uh, new for the first time empty video. So I've got lots to share um, and I really appreciate the Kindle community on YouTube. I've learned a lot. I think that um, we all want to be careful with our money, what we spend our money on to maximize it. And I really feel like these videos help us to do that. So uh, thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.